Welcome to Cornwall. The last time you saw me, I was at my uh, a local country park in Cambridgeshire and taking pictures of birds and uh, dragonfly to see to test out this uh, this 55 to 200 landscape lens. I'm coming down to the beach in in Cornwall. I'm at Porthmere Beach, where I will be in a couple of minutes. It's seven o'clock in the morning. Only here for a couple of days. I've come out when there's low tide because that's when usually the surfers come out, but it's very small surf. I also recently bought what everybody refers to as the kit lens, the 18 to 55 um, lens that uh, ships with um, XT3 um, bodies, but uh, I didn't buy it previously because uh, I had a few primes and that wasn't what I was going for. Uh, so I'm going to take a few pictures with that as well to see what it looks like. Thanks very much for looking into the channel. Let's get on. So I'm at Manhead, which is on the west end of uh, Porthmere Beach, and uh, just to try and talk a little bit through the uh, my exper first experiences with the uh, 55 to 200 lens. First thing is I've got so used to uh, using a wide-angled lens, and it's quite a revelation to stick this thing on and be so far away and struggle to get. Uh, you know, you're, you're in the mindset of wide-angled lenses where you can get everything in and now you've got to switch that up and uh, recognise that not everything's going to be in frame. I did come down a couple of nights ago where there was a little bit more swell, so I'll show you some of those pictures. I took those from the other end of this beach, uh, down at the island end. Here are those pictures. Taken at a shutter speed of a thousandth of a second and letting the evening sun backlight the breaking waves, these images show just how sharp the 55 to 200 mil lens is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back down. Uh, I'm going to go down on the beach and try and take some detailed shots of the waves as they're coming in. So I've come up a little bit higher in the town and uh, I'm trying with the 55 to 200. I'm shooting um, handheld because A, because the lens has optical image stabilisation uh, in it, but also um, it's very bright and light. So I'm interested to see how sharp I can get um, with uh, just using handheld. So um, here are a couple of images I've taken from this particular location. A more detailed look at the difference between these two lenses will be found later in this video at around nine minutes. I've uh, come into town and uh, this is uh, walking alongside the Pedenlova, which was uh, used a lot by the G7 people, but along with many other places in town, it's all shut up. Um, uh, so along with the uh, 
55 to 200 mil. I also got the uh, the regular kit lens, the 18 to 55. Um, what is it? 2.8 to 4 variable uh, f uh, stop. Um, and I'm down here at Crab Rock, which is one of my favourite little locations here in St Ives. And just going to try and uh, take a picture of the uh, the pier and the harbour. So let's get on with that. I'm shooting at ISO 160 F8. 400 uh, on 400th of a second and I'll take this picture both uh, landscape and portrait uh, let me just grab you here I'll turn you around so the tide's coming in so it's filled up the harbour pretty well but we've still got this little bit of beach and the rock between um, the harbour and the uh, the pier and uh, the town itself, the down along as it's called. So um, yeah, it just has these three little uh, parts to it, the beach, the rock, and then an echo of the rocks in the harbour. And I'll obviously check it when I get back um, to the computer, uh, but it looks like the optics on this lens is also fantastic. Uh, at f8, I'm getting everything really pin sharp, so I'm really enjoying that. Uh, I'm really enjoying the the difference between the the wide angled and the ultra, uh, the the zoom, the, the the long lens, and and this, you know, I've talked about <coughs> when I did a a video about uh, travel photography. I sort of said that there was um, a disadvantage of having an, uh, a wide, ultra wide lens for travel photography and this may be the lens that I'll take whenever we get back to doing regular travel. I think if I was going to go out for a day I didn't know quite what I was doing and I was looking to get um, sort of uh, record shots of locations I'd take this, I'd maybe take also um, a couple of my primes, uh, the 18mm and maybe the 35 um, so, uh, that's me reporting from St Ives, um, it's a beautiful day here today, the rest of the UK has had terrible weather but uh, we've been really blessed down here, uh, so I'm looking for, forward to spending the rest of the day going out and uh, exploring. So I thought I'd um, open these files up um, of these two images, um, both taken from the same location, one with the 55 to 200 and one with the 18 to the 55 to, to try and do a sort of light by light comparison and I've opened them both up in Lightroom um, and we try and have a look at the um, the difference between the, the two photos so I focused uh, on the um, the building the white building in the front the, the hotel and you can see at a hundred percent both images are absolutely pin sharp it's incredibly great optics uh, on both the 55 and the 18 to 55. I'm really impressed. So uh, that's the sort of the, where I focused the image. If we um, come out and look up to the um, the church on the island, again, both very sharp. And then if we move across uh, to the Coast Guard station, again. This is at the furthest extent of um, um, the picture. Uh, it's probably probably two thirds of a mile away uh, from where I took the picture. 
and again still incredibly sharp even at 5.6 and handheld so incredibly impressive um, <clears throat> so thanks very much for watching uh, I hope this has been interesting if not useful bye for now